Hi. <laughs> At my internet said low connection available and then it said or low connection and then it said available and I was like, "Oh my gosh." And here we are and <laughs> I wonder if I have my light on. I don't think so. Is anybody there? Is anybody out there? So, hello everybody. How are you all doing? I lost my voice a few days ago because I might have cheered kind of loud at my son's cross country meet. It was his first meet and <clears throat> well, a mom's got to do what a mom's got to do. Just saying. So, oh my gosh. Oh, I thought I lost you guys. Oh, there's my daughter. Hi. Oh, you're putting on lipstick. I am. I do it at the beginning of every one of these. Cute. I know, right? I just put on chapstick. <laughs> she did. Look at, does she look cute? I don't yeah. Know Guess why? Oh, no, no, oh no, yeah. No, no, oh my gosh. Oh yeah. Well, none of your new friends know you here. Okay, yeah. Oops, like, sorry. What happens when they do? Well, this is a recording. They're not going to come back to this one. Well, you post them on your YouTube, don't you? Yeah, but really, do you really think they're going to come back and look at them? My other friends did. Well, your other friends are odd <laughs> in that respect. Okay, so Ella... Yeah, she's back on her phone, her place of comfort. So Ella is um, about to get asked asked to the, I well, quotes, I only, I don't know what I'm doing. She's I'm getting, getting asked to homecoming. Thank you, I can't even say it. So one of her new friends has like helped coordinate this whole effort with she this. She set me up. Yeah, <laughs> with this kid who Ella's like talked to a couple of times. And I was like, well, she what it read, read your text because it's really funny. <laughs> Don't you like this? It's not weird at all. Hey, um, for no apparent reason, when are you going to be open and possibly looking cute if some guy I don't know happens to come over and let's say hypothetically ask you a certain question? So this is the kid that's been, or this is the girl who's been orchestrating this whole thing with this kid, and we won't use names. See, that's it. Everybody's safe. It's fine. So anyway, I said, you can't do it during live. Oh my gosh, I have to be there. And then she told me I couldn't be weird. Like I'm ever weird. She's weird all the time. Oh my gosh. Okay, go on. I love you though. I love you too. Oh, you just hit my neck. I think you hit my head. Okay, well. I love you. Love you too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. She probably said, three o'clock. Tell him to come at three o'clock. So Carl was all excited to be here and because he realized he would be here because of no school today. And then, um, oh, Ella, someone just said you're so pretty. It's true, she is. Um, anyway, so Carl said he was all excited this morning because I told him I was doing live today and he would be, um, he would be able to partake because he misses you guys. And then he and my husband decided to go to Dubuque to the aquarium and have a little man day, which I was fine to have. Those two both needed to get out. Mostly Carl, but my husband a little bit too. So anyway, I hope you guys are <laughs> um, excited to be stamping today. I hope a bunch of you are able to come so that, um, or because you probably don't have work or some of you probably don't have work. Um, She's so much like me. Well, she's a little different, but she is she is doing very well. I'm very proud of actually both of my kids have handled this move incredibly well. So I think that they they've done better than me some weeks. <laughs> to be honest, I think um, I I couldn't have possibly asked for better kids in this whole move. They've really not complained much. I've complained but they've been doing really well, so I'm very proud of them. Anyway, <laughs> um, I'm trying to think what, I, there was, I was thinking that there was a story that I so had to tell today during my live, and I can't think of what it is. Um, and I, sh I almost think I should have written it down, <laughs> but 
but I'm laughing because of my dumb voice. So I hope it doesn't, it's not too annoying. But anyway, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you've had a good weekend. It is raining off and on. It's like sunny one minute, rainy the next. But do you see all that natural light coming into my office? That is new for me. I'm so excited. Oh, Kristen, you've got your coffee and your Oreos ready. That's awesome. Caffeine and sugar. What more could you need? Um, I was laughing because today I decided to change up my wording a little bit and I wrote, grab your favorite beverage. And um, I was thinking, oh, I should so have a glass of wine tonight. I haven't had one. I was, you know, I always think about having a glass of wine and then I'm always so worried that I'm going to fall asleep. And I've been going to bed kind of early lately and I think it's just because of we've been working 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 so much I got um our bedroom is almost a hundred percent ready and um I almost well I would say I've got about 85 to 90 percent of the box well maybe higher than that um I'm doing really well on getting almost done and they're coming to pick up the boxes I think sometime this week so I really have to get on that but our house is starting to look a little bit more like a house, which is kind of nice. Not that it doesn't look like a house, but um, bless my husband's heart. Yesterday, he installed a hair, uh, I was going to say a hair softener, a water softener, which I'm so grateful for because my hair has been limp and awful lately. And today it feels so soft and nice. Oh, my Like my shampoo wouldn't lather up. So that was getting really frustrating. But anyway, um things are kind of coming together around here. Look, I got this light. I didn't turn it on, um, but it's really bright. I got a really bright light bulb for it, actually two. And so it really brightens things up in here because it's been a challenge finding the right lighting for this whole situation. So anyway, I've actually got quite a few projects planned for today. I'm kind of excited about my little self because um, I sometimes have nothing planned when I get started. So there you go. But I hope you guys, like I said, are doing well, had a great long weekend and did something fun. I'm looking forward to the time where we can do something fun with our weekend that does not involve boxes or moving or unpacking or installing or fixing something in our house because that would really rock. There was actually, oh my gosh, we so had a Monica from Friends moment this weekend. So um, in our mudroom, there's this light switch and it doesn't do anything. You would touch it and touch it and nothing would happen. And we couldn't figure out what on earth it was for. And there's actually several lights in this house that I still can't figure out either what they work, what they do um, or whatever. And so Andy... Un he unscrewed the light from the wall and then there was n or the switch thing from the wall and there was nothing behind it like nothing <laughs> which was really kind of funny because it was like in friends when they s have that switch when monica and uh rachel moved to joey and chandler's apartment i know i'm sorry if you're not a friends person i, pol I apologize but it's so funny um that they were <laughs> doing the switch and she couldn't figure it out so she cut or she po she like ripped holes in their wall and then still couldn't figure it out and then she put little pictures that she crayon drew over them so anyway Andy pulls the switch off and there's nothing there and then there's another switch which there's still nothing there like he's like oh maybe it's the remote or something for the other switch long story short I don't know how he figured it out but it was for a switch somewhere else and he did actually get it to work so that was pretty funny we seriously were laughing, though, because it was like, oh, my gosh. And then I have to tell you one more final story, and then we're done. I think this might have been the one I was trying to remember. So Ella has a friend on her cross-country team who uh, wanted her to um, name her car because she hasn't named her car. And apparently you have to name your car. Uh, and so her her friend said, oh, I'll figure out a name for you. And I think this is the one who's getting her set up on this little homecoming dance date. But um, anyway, she she said, oh, the next day, you've got to name your car Phoebe. And Andy and I were like, yay, that's awesome. I love Phoebe because that is such a great name for a car. And I said to her at dinner, I'm like, well, if you need to go incognito, you can 
uh, your, if your car needs to be incognito, you can name it Regina Falange. So if you guys like friends, you'll understand that one. Anyway, so I, like I said, I've got some projects to do. And you know what? I just realized I didn't do drawings. Dang it. Um, well, we will just have to do four next week. Oh, well, I'll actually, it would help to wait until next week because then I'll have more new product. Um, someone asked me to do the pheasant set, which I gave away last week, and I can't do it because that's the only one I had. I gave it away. Um, so we can only pre-order one of everything. And so I gave away some of the things I ordered for myself to share with you guys. So, um, but by next week, I should probably have more. So there you go. I really am losing my voice. It's terrible. All right. Now, I... Um, I have to tell you that today's cards are really funny because they are last summer versus fall. And I say that kind of jokingly. I feel like I lost my summer in this move. I didn't do my normal summer things. I have no tan. Um, I didn't go to the beach really actually at all. Um, unless you call, unless you count the, the trip we took to, um, the coast in Oregon when it was freezing. I'm not sure that that counts. When we were in Seattle, we drove to Oregon, and I think that was Oregon where we were. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. Anyway, long story short, um, I haven't really gotten to do summer this year. So um, I've been making all these happy summer bright colored cards, and then I realize, uh, Dina, it's fall. It's almost fall. It's September, and which I still can't quite cope with. But anyway, um, so <laughs> I have fall cards and I have summer cards for today. So anyway, I hope you like them. Um, I do have a couple of requests that people had asked for. So we're going to just get right to it. So let me flip this around and I'm still getting used to my new selfie stick. So bear with me. You might want to close your eyes. I'll tell you when to look. Making sure that it's, oh, this might have gone really smoothly actually. Oh, maybe not. And there we go. Shoo! Okay, that worked better than I thought it was going to. Yay! All right. So, um, don't forget to share the video, though. I will do drawings. I Actually, I cannot believe I didn't do them. Um, I've been trying so hard to catch up with a whole bunch of things that I'm behind on. And wouldn't you know it, I forgot to do that. But I still will, we don't ever forget giveaways, so I promise we'll get those out. I had a couple, or at least one request for the set Winter Woods, and I think this set is really cool because I think it's definitely more than Christmas. Um, it's kind of fun and, and uh, I don't know, it's just a little different than something we've had before. It's also, I believe... It's one of those distinctive stamp sets. I'd look it up in the catalog, but I'm not supposed to show that for another like 24 hours or so. Um, 36 hours. The catalog goes live on the 5th. So in case you're wondering, we have just a little way, a little teeny longer to go. You, did someone say, I want wine or woods? Like, did you just forget the tea in winter? Or do you want a stamp set that wines? <laughs> <laughs> or do you want a stamp set with wine in it? Because that I could get going on. Well, actually, we do have that. Um, replacing Lovely as a Treat, not as far as I know. Um, this is really different because it's got different kinds of stuff in it. So you can see there's um, there are different dyes that come in it. There's pine cones. There's like a branchy thing, tree. Well, actually, this is a tree, I, I suppose. This is the branchy thing. And then there's, this is like for the ground. So you can cut a little edge, which actually I'm kind of really excited about. But anyway, what we're going to do with this, and I haven't actually made this card, so we're, I'm hoping it'll turn out. But this was sort of a last ditch thought I had right before I went live. And the funny thing is, um, we lost power in a storm here, um, maybe not last night, but the night before. And I didn't, I haven't plugged my phone into my little iPhone dock that's like a speaker. And so it says that it's 610. And so it's actually 316. And so that six minute gap I had, I thought I had like six more minutes before I went live, which is why I was like a little teeny bit late coming on. <laughs> and so I'm laughing because I realize I'm actually getting, well, anyway. So I have this, this um, tree image in my head and I really like it. And I know we're not to the far, the part of fall where 
the leaves are coming off the trees yet. So that's a good thing because this is like a late fall stamp set. But I really wanted to try this out with with just something kind of fun in the background and I think this is gonna look good. So I also have been kind of excited about color. Um, I, For the last several months I've had a color club that we play with different color combinations and um, our first couple months were bright and colors and then subtle colors and then our last couple months are, well, one is more earthy colors and then the last one is sort of a hodgepodge of color. But um, one of the things is I've really been looking at color, uh, not differently, but just a little bit more intensely than normal. And this is, by the way, my anal side coming out. I got to do my little stamp surgery for my stamps because I am like that. I don't know. Do you guys cut your stamps like this? Have I taught you nothing? No, I'm just kidding. I know not everybody does this, but I'm kind of anal about it. Um, by the way, if you um, are on my mailing list for catalogs, and I've sent one to everybody who's ordered from me in the last six months, uh, those went out this past week, so you should be receiving them anytime. In fact, some of you in the closer people probably might have already gotten theirs. But that was like a whole process too. Oh my gosh. I'm starting to realize that I'm not in my cute little small town anymore. And I went to the post office here and I was so excited because it is literally a mile from my house. I mean, what luck is that? A mile. And I used to drive out to Waterloo to the other post office because they were just so much better. Well, I'm going to have to find a new post office because first of all, I hate the one a mile from my house. They were horrible and it took me forever to get my postage done and I was pretty ticked by the time I left. Okay, I'm not going to lie. I was like irate. So anyway, all right. Um, I've got my little trees here, and we're going to see, because this could be a colossal fail. You never know. But post offices are pretty important in my line of work, because I mail a lot of stuff out. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. There's, like, a lot of stuff that gets mailed. And when you have a good post office, man, it makes a big difference. All right, so I've got my stamp blocked. I know, is that a long enough story for you guys? Block. I've got my stamp blocked. I have my stamp on a block. I'm inking it up with some crumb cake ink and actually I'm just going to stamp this down to see. Ooh, we got some jiggles there. I think this will be fine. So I'm going to stamp it on a piece of um, very vanilla cardstock. And this is for Rachel. I'm not sure if you're on Rachel. You might have, you might be at work. But, um, or I'm sorry, not Rachel, Robbie, um, because Robbie said she has only a couple sheets of white cardstock and she realized all that she has left is vanilla. So this is vanilla just for you. So anyway, um, this is my trees. And then I'm going to take, and I cut three little strips of paper. I've got Mary Merlot. I've got Blackberry Bliss, and then I've got Mossy Meadow. And I'm going to just take and attach these to my card. And I'm going to use some glue for that. And just adhere these strips right over the top. So. And I probably don't need the whole length to be glued, so... We're just gonna stick those down. Maybe I'll have the bottoms of the trees poking out. I suppose I could line this up to the edge, huh? I'm so over my voice being weird. <clears throat> it's been like this since Friday. That was, like I said, Carl's first cross country meet and bless his heart, he really did well. He had practiced for less than a week before running his first race. And I think it, I asked him what his goal was, and he said to finish in the top 75%, which he did. So I was really excited for him. Um, but I think he's not quite the natural that his sister is. So, But I also think it's kind of a good thing for him to have something that he's not super good at. Because a lot of stuff comes easy for that kid. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying I want my kid to fail. I'm just saying um, it's important for him to have maybe humility. Okay, but you can't tell him I said that. 
But anyway, I really was proud of him. And it was a hot, humid day, and he really ran well. So, And it's so fun to watch these kids. I had to laugh. The 7th and 8th grade girls ran first. <laughs> there were these huge gaggle of girls walking. I thought, come on, guys, you can do it. You can run. And then I'm thinking, yeah, I would be dying. Okay, so now I have another stamp that I pulled out. This is from a set that I really like. What did I do with the case? I'm sure I have it. Oh, yeah, right here. This is a set called Friendly Expressions, and it's really fun because I love it's got the mixed font, and they're kind of bigger. Sometimes when we have these teeny little words, I almost want bigger words, you know, to put onto something. But this is kind of cool. So we're going to stamp this right over the top. And it says, life is tough, but you, so are you. And we're going to stamp that in early espresso. So it's nice and dark. And so this is my fall color card. Life is tough, but so are you. Ooh, that looks good. What do you guys think? Oh. So I like this because you could send this to um, to a, an, a man or a woman, and it would be kind of, uh, it's kind of a gender neutral card, which is nice because a lot of people tell me they want masculine cards. I usually get at least one masculine card request each week. So I like this because it can kind of go for either. So isn't that kind of neat? Real simple. Okay, and then we're just going to pop it up onto just a crumb cake card base. Now I have a little, I was going to say delusions. No, I think I'm going to leave it plain. I was going to say, oh, we could stamp the tree, trees around the edges, but I want to leave it plain. Sometimes less is more, you know, especially when it comes to masculine cards, because they don't always appreciate the extra steps anyway. They don't get it. Just saying. Okay. So I think this is this turned out pretty good. This is pretty much exactly what I had in my mind. Do you guys ever do that where you have something in your head and then when you try to carry it out, it just so does not happen? <laughs> that happens quite a bit for me. So I really do like that card. That's pretty nice. Good job, Dina. Okay, I'm proud of myself. All right. So that was our first card. <laughs> our next card is the set in the holiday catalog that I'm probably the most excited about. And that is a set called First Frost. It has arguably the prettiest DSP ever conceived by Stampin' Up! in it. And I'm just moving a couple things um, so I can show you the stamp set. Because I've got it all sitting on the case. So this stamp set is so beautiful. It just is gorgeous. It's that watercolor look, which I, of course, love. Because, you know, I'm a big fan of watercoloring. It has the wonderful mixed fonts, which I also love. So on trend. But it also has such a wonderful um, uh, combination of framelits that go with it. And actually, the framelits are right here. Um, the framelits have lots of pieces. There's a couple of doubles, which is nice when you're cutting out um, multiples on a card. But then it also um, has these two frames, which I love. And then it's got like this image isn't a stamped image. It's just an image. Same with this. It's they're just kind of pieces, which I like. So anyway, it's a really great set. There's so going to be an online class. In fact, I already have projects planned for it. In fact, I think we have almost the whole class planned. I'm pretty pretty jazzed about this one. Can you tell? Um, but we're going to make a very simple, but I think gorgeous card. And this is wonderful because I think the thing with this paper, and I'm going to show it to you here in one sec, is that it co totally could go for, um, it could totally go for a lot of different seasons. Like some of the paper is clearly one season, but I don't think it's necessarily Christmassy, but it totally works for Christmas. I don't think it's necessarily spring, but it works for spring. I definitely don't think, um, well, I mean, it is kind of fallish, but it definitely works for beyond fall. So here's this piece, which is arguably like the most gorgeous thing ever, like seriously. And it has, it's kind of thin paper, um, or maybe it just feels thin, I don't know, but can you see that? It's like shimmery. It's like the whole thing is coated in, um, in clear wink of Stella so the whole thing shimmers or it's like um it's our shimmery white cardstock kind of it has that 
look to it. It's so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. So anyway, we've got this paper and it is so, 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 so pretty. So pretty. Such gorgeous paper. I'm, I mean, oh. And I think, like I said, I think it's all year round paper. It's not, um, it's not necessarily first frost, but I will say all these flowers are going to die in the first frost. <laughs> all right. So now one thing I love about this paper is that it coordinates with gray granite, which is quickly become one of my favorite colors, which is kind of odd because I thought for sure, you know, nothing what else would happen in this world once we had these purples and once we had um, Granny Apple Green and Mango Melody. Those have been my favorites. Of course, we brought back the, like the word, the best color ever, which is um, Coastal Cabana. And don't you worry, the next card has Coastal Cabana on it. But this gray granite is stunning with so many colors. I can't even believe it. So we're going to take um, a piece of gray granite. I just spit on it. Don't ignore that. <laughs> and it coordinates with this piece of paper. There's this kind of pretty leafy pattern on the back. But... Um, I love this look. Okay, I have to stop for one sec. So Dion says, okay, not stamping related at all, but your nails always look so nice. Well, thank you, Dion. I, um, I've, for about a year now, been getting regular manicures, which is totally why that happened. And um, I got one last week, and I don't actually think it turned out that well. Like, you can see, I don't know, I'm being really nitpicky here, but, like, there's weird stroke lines on here that normally on, aren't on here but I do really like it this is actually a really dark plum color and it's super pretty but my husband is like whoa you got black nails and I said no they're plum he's like those are black I'm like no 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 they're plum like there's purple stuff all over me and we it was a whole long thing but yes we totally um <laughs> we totally get manicures me and my daughter she this is kind of awesome you guys she does work for me and I get her manicures I love it it works okay so we did that last week <laughs> all right so back to my card we just had to take a little break for that for a sec okay so I've got my gray granite base and I'm going to use gray granite ink to stamp on here with my first frost stamp set so I love this set I mean have I mentioned that I love this set yet I, th I think I have. Um, but what did I do with the stamp I need? Oh, it's just right here in front of me. Okay, so I'm going to stamp on here. Um, this is a panel that's going to go on here, and I'm going to add this little strip of printed paper that I've cut. This is one and a half by four inches, so it's perfect because it, you can make a gazillion of these cards out of one sheet of cardstock, which is awesome. And I'm just going to stamp the little branchy thing here a couple of times like so so that it sticks out don't worry we're going to cover that part up and then once more down here okay and then I'm going to put this piece of DSP right over the top so it's just a little peak coming out from my DSP so I think that is kind of pretty and um then look at how gorgeous that is and I love, there's kind of a variety of colors that this all coordinates with, but I do have to say the first frost, or the, I'm sorry, the gray granite is about my fave. Then I die cut um, a circle from my Stitched Shapes framelits, and I'm going to stamp off a layer, and then I'm just going to stamp that on there, stamped off. Then I'm going to do full strength, the saying that came in the stamp set, right over the top. Wishing you all the best. So I think this would be gorgeous for like a fall wedding, which actually I have a couple of fall weddings coming up for. Um, so I think this will be perfect for that kind of occasion. Um, but certainly a lot of other things you could use this for as well. I just stuck two dimensionals together and they wouldn't come apart and I don't feel like messing with them. All right, so I'm going to pop this up right over the top. But I think this is such a great way to use this paper because you can do the same card with any of the patterns in the pack of cardstock. So that makes it really versatile. I always like showing you ideas that work, 
you know, with lots of different things, not just one. So sometimes a card is very specific, but I like to be able to take a card that I've made and then apply it to other types of projects. Okay, so I'm taking the Tranquil Tide Ruffled Edge Ribbon, and I'm just going to tie a little bow with this. Okay. Now when I put this on YouTube, you can rewind and watch that bow tying over and over and over again if you want. Goodness, my stuff is sticking to me. Okay, so I've just got that little bow on here, and I love this ribbon because look at how flat that is. There's no big thick knot on there anywhere, which is awesome because then the post office won't have a conniption at you like they did at me. Jeez Louise. All right, so I put that on, and then I'm going to just adhere this to my card. So one thing, um, I always get people asking me about this. Can you see how skinny a line of glue I'm putting on here? Not much glue is required to get a card adhered. And the beauty of this is that your glue lasts forever, which is wonderful. But the other part is I don't get glue on me because I'm not using too much. Um, whenever you get glue on yourself when you're stamping, it's probably because you're using too much and it oozes out. So um, are these the, the scissors that I'm cutting my stamps with? Um, I get asked about this every time I stamp. These are Kai scissors. We used to call them, we used to have them in our catalog under the name Craft and Rubber Scissors. We retired them when um, they started die cutting the stamps themselves. And I had um, two pairs of these. Actually, I probably had more, but I... I think I kind of gave them away or whatever um, once I didn't need them as much. And I just keep getting them resharpened. But you can't have just anyone resharpen them because the blades are special. Um, and if you just Google where to sharpen them, there's a guy that does it someplace. I think the last time I had mine done, I sent them to North Carolina because I couldn't remember where the guy was. He's in California. But... Um, they're really good scissors and they last a long time. I don't know how many years it's been since we've had die cut, um, die cut stamps, but I would say close to 10 probably. Anyway, so there's my card. Um, now, another thing people were asking me about with, is shimmer paint. And we, I like shimmer paint. Let me find mine real quick. Um, I haven't played with it since we came back out with it, um, I'll show you because mine is still in its packaging. But there's lots of things you can do with shimmer paint. Um, you can paint it on. In fact, we'll definitely play with this. And I know I had some people asking me. I just haven't had time to mess around with it because I haven't had time to do much of anything except get my house unpacked. But it's really cool stuff. And we could put some on here um, if you want, although, oh, I'm not quite ready. So sorry, Kari, I'm not, um, or is it Kari or Kari? I don't know. I'm, I'm not quite ready to show this to you, but oh my gosh, when I am, you're going to love it. Maybe, well, maybe in one of my fall cards. I don't know. I, I want to figure out how to get this on here, but I can't think. I know. Okay. So you can use a sponge. Let me see if I have a sponge handy. Mm. this one will work um, you can use a sponge and kind of dab it on but I don't want to like ruin my card so we'll just we'll be light about it Ooh, well that's working it's kind of like spritzing your card it's in this case it's uneven I don't know if I like that or not but do you see that it's just subtle on there this is the um, Frost White. Of course, that would go with First Frost, right? <laughs> um, but you can also paint it on, of course. So my um, my thought is to use it with Aqua Painters. Um, it, you can push it, put it over things. Um, but what I'm trying to think of is how I would spritz it on. But in a minute, I'll show you another card, and then we're going to use it on that. Okay? In fact, I want to use the Either the gold or the copper. 
Let's see. So we've got Champagne Mist. And then we've got Vegas Gold. And then Bright Copper. I'm trying to think of which color. I think Champagne Mist would be really pretty on the card I'm thinking of. But anyway, so we'll get to it. I promise. The catalog hasn't even gone live yet, so don't worry about it. Okay. Mix with alcohol to spritz. Yes, for sure. Don't do it if you're not ready. <laughs> Those are good words. <laughs> um, okay. Spritzer and alcohol. Everybody's saying that's good. I did actually know that. You put me on the spot. It's hard to think. Okay. So there's that card. Now we have to go. We have to transition back to summer. All right. So I was messing around with... Um, well, I guess I'm showing you the final result here now, aren't I? I was messing around with my uh, alternative projects for Paper Pumpkin. So each month I send alternative projects to my um, subscribers for Paper Pumpkin, um, just different ideas that they can do with their kits. And I love this month's. Here's the stamp set that comes with it. And I think Paper Pumpkin is one of those things where you uh, people seem to love it or hate it. Now, I... Don't always love the projects that come with it, but I always, always love the alternative projects that we come up with. There's so many things you can do with a paper pumpkin kit besides the projects that it comes with. So at any rate, um, we always come up with some extra cards. So this was one of the ones I was playing with, and I was having so much fun with this because, like I said, I'm kind of stuck in my summer color rut, so to speak. So I'm going to pull my ink pads out. So here's our Coastal Cabana. Thank goodness I was going through withdrawals for a second there. And then I've got Mango, Melon, Poppy, um, Lemon Lime Twist, Granny Apple Green. I think that's everything I need. So let me show you what I came up with, because it's or how I did this, I should say, because it's pretty easy. So... I think one of the things, the benefits of Paper Pumpkin is that you get this amazing stamp set each month, which is really nice. And you can always do so much with a stamp set. And oftentimes there's, well, like this one has some great fonts and whatnot in it. But then there's some other pieces that come with each kit. So I'm pulling out, I haven't actually even made the cards for the kit. <laughs> I'm, pu I'm pulling out the instructions here so you can see them. So they're really beautiful printed cards and then they have these cute little labels that have some foil on them so they're really fun. Um, but and so you can see we're going to use one of these shapes but like this is the card base. I mean look at how pretty that is. And then this was the other card base. Then it also came with a bunch of die cut pieces and envelopes and all kinds of stuff. So anyway, let me show you though my alternative that I came up with because I really like it. It's so happy. <laughs> That's what I love. Okay, so I'm going to take a piece of Whisper White cardstock and the cute little flower image, which let me pull out here. It's just behind all of my goodies. So it comes with all these different images that you can do different things with. So got my Coastal Cabana and I wanted to kind of make a rainbow of flowers. So I'm just going to stamp these like so. And then we're going to keep going. The next color I used was Lemon Lime Twist. And um, I know some of you don't have paper pumpkin in in all markets and um all i can say is sorry <laughs> i don't have any control over that um stampin up does hear you and i think there are just some logistics that keep it from happening but uh i won't never say never because you never know it might just show up all right so there i've got my next color was Lemon Lime Twist, then Mango. So, but just know, I don't make the rules, but I also can't really change them either, so I, I apologize. Okay, so Mango. 
And what I like is this is one of those kind of pretty, um, pretty happy colors when you put them together. They really, they just kind of work. Oh, I did have a uh, flirty flamingo in there. I almost skipped a color. Okay. So there is my flirty flamingo. We're going to go right into melon mambo. And finally, some poppy parade. So you can see I'm doing a really good job of cleaning my stamps. <laughs> Okay, kind of ran out of room, but that's all right. It's just Poppy Parade. It's not Coastal Cabana. I mean, that would be a travesty. Now, I'm going to come back with... Let me close this ink pad up. Is this one making you nervous, guys? <laughs> I'm going to come back with my Granny Apple Green, which is a darker shade of green than the Lemon Lime Twist I used here. And I'm going to add... You might think this is a heart, but you would be wrong. It's a leaf. <laughs> So it could be a heart, I don't know, but in my world, it's a leaf. So I'm just going to add some leaves to these flowers to kind of round things out a little bit and add some extra green to them. Um... I know this is going to be covered up, but it'll bug me if I don't do it right. Oh, and I keep getting my fingernail in the stupid ink pad. Gotta get my pinkies up. Do you guys ever do that? Look at I did it there and there and there. Oh, that makes me mad. But life goes on. We'll fix it. So there we go. We add some greenery to this. I think that really kind of just pops everything out a bit makes it fancy okay and then we're going to take this and I guess I probably should have done this when I still had all my ink pads open but oh well um at first I was trying to come up with a like a darker shade for every single one and in some cases I sort of could but I thought oh my gosh if I come up with an extra contrasting color for every single one of these it's going to take forever not to mention, that's a crap ton of ink pads to have open at once. So um, we're kind of improvising a little. We're not going to use every single one. It's going to have a different in uh, center color. But again, all of these stamps are from my paper pumpkin kit. So we'll do those colors on both of these. Isn't that fun? It just kind of adds an extra little highlight. So, where did my mango go? Oh. Um, ooh, I almost didn't clean this. That would have been bad. Oh, lordy. Okay, so, anywho. <laughs> um, crisis averted. Whew. So, we'll put that in the center there. I will take my granny apple green for my lemon, lemon lime twist flowers because I already had that color out anyway. And then I'll take, I'm going to go ahead and add Bermuda Bay to my Coastal Cabana because, oh, it just is, it just works. You know what I mean? And I already pulled the ink pad out, so it's all good. Okay. Now this is just so easy in my opinion to do this but I love these colors oh my gosh and I'm gonna show you if I still have it sitting on my table I made another card kind of based on this that I showed on my blog yesterday and actually I just shot the video this afternoon so I'll get that video posted um, but it's really another bright happy card with these wonderful colors Okay, so you are the best. 
I'm stamping on there. Now this is from a big thank you stamp set, which is this one. That's the one that has the thank you framelit that coordinates with it. I like this set a lot too. Um, so that's you are the best because I think that's a really fun sentiment and so perfect for people to share that fun sentiment. Now I'm going to take the foil accent that's on this little tag here and then incorporate it into my card. I want to pop this up. So I'm going to put some dimensionals on here. And then I also, like I said, I want to put some foil or some, yeah, not foil. What do you call this? Metallic thread. Oh my gosh. Words are so hard. And I'm just going to wrap this around my fingers a few times. I'm sure you've seen me do this before because I do it quite a bit. And to adhere this, you can use um, snail. I still have my fast fuse, so I'm going to use that. I'm just going to put a little strip on here. And then I'm going to just sort of mess this up because I want it to stick out. And you just need some of it somewhere <laughs> to be stuck down, and then you're fine. I like to get the ends in, too, so that I don't have these weird straggly ends hanging off my card, but that's just me. All right, now I'm going to pop this up right over the top, and then we're going to layer it up on some happy, happy colors. And I think the fun thing about this is you can make a rainbow without making a rainbow. It's just flowers. But who would not be just giddy to get a card with these colors on it in the mail. I mean, it's just happy. Oh my gosh. So like I said, I'm going to layer this up. So I've got my little glue here and we're going to post or place it on a lemon lime woo, twist panel like so. Looking pretty good. And then we're going to take and put that on our Coastal Cabana, the color that lets us know God loves us, as you well know. Okay. And this is my summer happy card. <laughs> we could use a little of this. It's turning gray again here in Iowa. It has been like storm after storm after storm has rolled through. So it's been kind of crazy. Okay, so, so simple. You could add some little somethings if you wanted to, but uh, you just, you never know what you might get. So now you could totally change these colors up and get a fall card out of this set too. So you can do lots of different things. So what if I took kind of an earthy group of colors and and got my earthy rainbow and to do that all I need to do is go to the regals colors and those are kind of earthy even though they're called regals I look at them as a little earthier in color and that would be a really pretty fall card so you can take the same idea and change it up for that so but I really have to say I love that this stamp is kind of that watercolory look because you know I like that so that's very fun I'm just going to close this ink pad now my next card is really cool this is a card I'll show you um it's actually based off a card a good friend of mine gave to me um this is a card my friend Kylie Bertucci gave me when we were on the Alaska tr trip this was her swap card and I received her swap card which I loved she used the petal well let's see beautiful promenade I was gonna say petal promenade that's the printed paper that goes with it so the petal promenade stamp set and coordinating framelits which I love and so she made this really cool card which I thought is super cool so she got this really cool design in here now there is a really neat medallion kind of framelit in this set right here but this actually is not what she used behind here you can see this is a little bigger and not quite the same shape what she used instead was this little tag piece okay so we're gonna make a card using this stamp set but we're also going actually this really just the framelits but we're also going to incorporate into that 
another set. Let me get it out from under my pile here. From, this is a set coming in the holiday catalog called Falling for Leaves. I am such a sucker for leaves. I actually really do like fall. I just am not quite there yet um, emotionally. <laughs> I love fall. I love all the things associated with fall and especially the changing colors of leaves. I didn't really appreciate them until I moved to California and we didn't really get change of seasons and then I came back and the first fall I was just like, oh, it's so beautiful. So anyway, I do love fall. Okay, so we're going to do a fall card with this stamp set and this layout. All right, so I'm going to move all my happy summer colors aside so that we can do our fall card. Now I'm going to use crumb cake and early espresso for this one. So let me pull those ones back. And I think you guys are just going to love how this turns out. Now I, this again is kind of like that tree card. I have it in my head, but I haven't actually made the card. So we'll see. It could be a colossal failure, but I don't think it's going to be. Um, I'm going to start by stamping the big leaf here. And I think I'm going to stamp it off. I actually cut two pieces of cardstock in case I hated it. <laughs> uh. Okay, so there we go. There's our leaf. Isn't that cute? Very fun. And then um, I've got my background piece. Now this is going to go kind of right here. So I also took a couple of the other stamps from this set, pardon me, set, and I wanted to incorporate them on the background of my card a little bit. So we just did that. And you know what? That did not stamp well. So let's fix that. Oh my gosh, there's something on the other side of this. Hold on. Whew. Luckily, I've got more of these cardstocks cut. That's so funny. This one had, had stamping on the back. Figures. <laughs> okay. But I wonder. Actually, I might stamp this again. Bear with me. You'll see why in a sec. I think it would look kind of goofy if I didn't do this. It'll all make sense, I promise. Okay, so there's my stamped off piece again. And then I'm going to use this full strength and get one up over here. Stamped well, that stamped fantastic. One more down and over here. Okay, now my flower or my leaf wasn't pointing in the right direction and I thought it would look better if it was so that's why I did that sometimes I can be really anal about stamping other times not so much all right I'm also going to add this little I don't even know what you'd call this maybe we'll put it up here yeah I'm struggling because it doesn't quite line up right I don't know if I like that and then I've also got one more, and this one I want with my early espresso. Put a couple up and down from there. That looks pretty good. There we go. Okay, so my square, by the way, is two inches. Now, what I have done... So I've gone ahead and I cut a two inch strip of cardstock. It was actually about um, two by about five and a half inches. And then I just die cut this little piece like this a couple times. So I have these pieces. And now I'm going to take and just snip them apart because that's easy enough. And I'm just going to lop off that little goofy edge. Oops. There we go. And cut this one apart, lop off my little edge so it's nice and even. And then we're going to adhere it together. It's so easy. And it's so funny because when she said that, I said, oh, Kylie, I got your swap when we were on the cruise. And she's like, oh, did you figure out how I did it? And I'm like, oh, yeah, totally. And then I was like, oh, my gosh, I'm not really sure how she did it. And then I sort of peeked under the corner and I was like oh that's it so she just cut four of these pieces I was thinking like she must have 
got some way. She must have found some way to cut a shape that would give you this, but no, it's simpler than that. You just cut four pieces, stick them on. So I'm going to go with opposing edges because somehow I line those things up better when I'm just doing opposing sides. So I have to tag her so she knows I cased her card. I do really like how it turned out. Woo! We'll just get that back in place. Though such a clever idea. Just like she is. Okay, so there we go. So doesn't it look like a round medallion, but it's actually four pieces stuck by. So, um, and what Dolly is asking what color this is, it is Berry Burst, which I love Berry Burst with kind of these earthy colors. Now, I did do a boo-boo. I should have stamped my sentiment first, but I did not. Okay, so it says, thinking of you with a grateful heart. So we'll stamp that in early espresso, of course. Now, Kylie embossed her background piece, but because I did all the stamping, I don't want to do that because I think that would be too much. We could maybe do the subtle um, embossing folder, but I think there's kind of plenty going on here. So anyway, hi, Sarah. Oh my gosh, this didn't stamp very well in the center. It's because of these layers of cardstock. Dang it. Okay, we're just going to improvise and we're going to stamp this once more and then we're going to layer it. It's okay. Oh my gosh. Can't a girl catch a break here? I have had to redo so many pieces. See, this is why I cut an extra piece right here. Okay, so we're going to stamp that hopefully for the final time. Yeah, Stamparatus would have been really smart if I would have started out that way, huh? Okay, it's really just because of my layers of cardstock underneath. But yes, that is my favorite use of the Stamparatus is to fix bad stamping, but there you go. That time looks perfect. All right, so we'll just adhere that right over the top. Convenient how they are the same size, isn't it? All right, so pretty. Now we're going to take and pop this up on top of our card. And then layer it up. So yes, the I've got crumb cake. Um, oh, dang it, this was what I was going to use my shimmer stuff for. Well, darn it all. Let's see here. Um, I might just have this one's got water in it oh could this one have alcohol look at that people look at that sometimes the stars just align don't they so we're gonna put some shimmer paint in here we'll just set that there for a sec let's crack this baby open I was gonna sponge some on to my stamps but that just did not happen now did it but we're still gonna get the look. Oh, this will be perfect. If I can get into my bottle, it's hermetically sealed, which I get, but sheesh. It's like child proof, adult proof. Okay, there we go. Now we're gonna just put a teeny tiny bit in here. Now, before you guys have an aneurysm about me doing this, We'll move our pieces out of the way so if I spill, the whole world will not be lost. And I don't know how much we need, so I just put a little in there. We'll see. <laughs> Do you like how I measured that out really carefully? Now, what's nice about rubbing alcohol whenever you do something like this, shake it up. I think this will be pretty light. You know what? I might actually add a little copper to it because I didn't have... And copper will be good. This this copper looks so bright to me, but I think it won't be so bad. Okay. Goodness gracious. We're just doing a little concocting of colors here. We'll see how this comes out. I can just hear you guys, no, 
don't do it, Dina. I think it'll be okay. There we go. Just a little. This might be too much, too. You never know. Oh, this is going to be fun. You guys excited? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh. So I have a little bit of champagne mist and a little bit of bright copper. The bright copper just looks really bright for me. So we'll hopefully this is going to be okay. All right. So I'm going to spritz. Oops, the cap is already off, Dina. Calm down. Just going to spritz this. We're going to move some things aside. Make sure we don't ruin anything in the background. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is going to be pretty. Are you guys ready? Okay, so I'm holding this a good 12 inches away. And it's just, can you see that? I don't even know if you can see it. It's just giving me a nice mist of shimmer. But what I like about it is that there's some bigger droplets mixed in with the smaller ones. And I am going to have a little bit of glitter on me now. I like it. Because it's just a fine shimmer of glitter. Can you guys see that? I don't know if you can. Oh my gosh, I swear I'm getting old. I'm literally taking my glasses off to look and see if you can see the shimmer. It's really pretty. I don't know. Can you see that? Yeah, there it is. Okay. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay. So, we've got that on there. Now we're adding our thinking of you with a grateful heart right over the top. Oh, lordy, this is pretty. Okay. <laughs> Don't you guys ever get excited when you make cards? They turn out better than you even think. Okay, so we'll just take my hair out of here. That's gross. It's got glue in it and everything. Having long hair is sometimes a curse, I tell you. We'll put that on. Oh my gosh, there's still another hair. It's stuck to me. Because it got glue on it. That's great. <laughs> By the way, you're welcome for the commentary. I know it's exactly what you wanted today. And I'm not even drinking wine yet. Goodness gracious. All right. Okay. Last but not least, we're going to put it on a crumb cake. Or no, this is early espresso card base because it's so pretty. And then, oh, we're so popping that layer up. And then finally, we'll add a little something to the inside of the card, don't you think? I think we need a little something, something on the inside. So this has really turned out pretty awesome. I love it when it turns out awesome. Thinking of you with a grateful heart. Oh, so true. I'm just grabbing a piece of very vanilla. So Robbie, if you're watching, here's another piece of vanilla for you. It's perfect for fall. So, let's see. We will take crumb cake up here and just add a little there. And a little there. And there. And then some espresso here and here. So this is for the inside of the card. Okay, and we'll just adhere this to the inside, but oh my gosh, that real that shimmer did just totally make this card. I wish I hope you can see how amazing it looks cuz it is really gorgeous. But shimmer 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 makes me so happy. So there you go. So a really simple a simple concept, but this this framelit business really just makes it fancy, fancy. So what stamp set is this? This is going to be available in the holiday catalog, which starts on Wednesday. Falling for Leaves is the stamp set that I used. And then it coordinates, or, or I used it in conjunction with the beautiful promenade um, bundle. It's the framelits that I used. Of course, we could add... Um, we could add some of the sayings in here, but um, so pretty. And these flowers are gorgeous too. So anyway, I hope you liked my projects today. I'm going to bring them back in and wrap it up for you. I've got a couple of announcements. 
some important things coming up. First of all, ooh, oh my goodness, I need to get for you our announcements, but here are the cards that I've made today. Four cards. I guess two of them are fallish. One of them is kind of wintry, and then the other is full on summer. <laughs> so those are our projects from today. Um, someone is asking what the dies are. They're the dies that coordinate with the um, beautiful promenade stamp set. So, all right, first things first. Where's my Sharpie? Ooh, I might have pulled my Sharpie out and used it for writing happy mail on my projects last week. Hold on, I think it might be right behind me. Okay. I was feverishly writing happy mail on so many project or so many envelopes last week. <laughs> all right, so... Of course, share the video. Um, you can do that on Facebook or YouTube. I'll have this up either tomorrow or Wednesday. I always shoot for Wednesday. That gives me a little more time. And you'll be entered into a drawing for free stamps. And that will be held next Monday. Um, you can also get entered by placing an order. I am getting really close to my $1 million in sales, and I would love to have you join me. Um, when you order, please use the host code VFADZQ6U, and I will have a fabulous LOUS gift when you spend at least $50. And then I also have product shares. Um, and I almost have the first round full. There's a few more spots. Um, I will post a, I will post the link in this video description. Um, so make sure you register. They are for the holiday catalog. And they're pretty awesome. Uh, let me actually, let me grab my sheet and I'll tell you what comes in them. Oh, actually, I think I have one right here. Yay, I do. Okay, so there's three options, four options. One is to get the DSP. It's $37 with priority shipping. You get a quarter package of every single DSP, specialty foil, whatever, whatever paper, um, that's either six by six or 12 by 12 in the catalog, you will get a quarter package of each of them. There is a ribbon only share where you get two yards of everything except five yards of the garden green baker's twine. You get five yards of that, two of everything else, all of those, and that is $19 shipped to you. And then the third option is all the embellishments. Um, pretty much, I didn't count card, note cards and envelopes as an embellishment, so that wasn't part of it but um, those are clips galvanized buttons festive farm elements Santa's bags Santa's enamel shapes snowflakes and stars wire shapes frosted and clear droplets iridescent wreaths chicken wire elements galvanized clips spider trinkets and baker's boxes you'll get an assortment of all of that for $34 and then if you want all of those you can save $10 and then you'll also get the free washi sweet seasons washi tape and that is $80 and it comes priority the first round is going to ship out on the 15th and actually I think we'll be able to even beat that because I have helpers coming to help me get it done so yay um and so we'll get all those out, but make sure you register. If you want to get on this first round, make sure you register by tomorrow. Okay, so register by tomorrow. By two, well, today's Monday, right? Tuesday. I'm so discombobulated with this holiday weekend. All right. Um, also, I have first frost. Oops, I can't spell it though. F-I-R-S-T. 
first frost will be an online class that I'll be holding as I'm not sure of the date on that I need to check also coming out this month is rooted in nature perfect for fall and then um, I am hoping to get my Christmas card schedule lineup real soon so that you know what will be coming for Christmas card classes so um, will I hit the million in 2018 I am gonna be really close Kim I'm I don't know if I'll be able to do it before the end of the year but definitely the beginning of the year for sure um, I'd love love to hit it um, before on stage because it's our big 30th anniversary and I would so love to do it f for that occasion but I don't think I quite will be able to but I'm gonna keep you guys posted um, I'm really getting close it's very exciting I'm actually working on a post update to let you know exactly where I'm at and then um, you can kind of track my progress I'll keep that on my um, website and my um, Facebook page so you can see that right where you're watching me right now if you're on Facebook um, Sherry asked where do you do that I will post the link to the product shares in just a minute so you can get registered for that and if you guys have any questions let me know um, I'm almost caught up from being gone I just have a few more details to get finished up but I'm so excited to be back in action it feels so nice to kind of start getting back to a normal schedule and routine in life oh I can't even tell you I'm very excited um, that we're just about settled now so that it has been a process wow if you have not moved I don't recommend it <laughs> it is not fun anyway it was so wonderful stamping with you guys today I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and we will see you very soon bye guys